Okay, it's been about a month since I worked on my walk-in humidor. Been busy, family stuff, 4th of July. Anyway, I made the two and a half to three hour round trip to Bernard's and got me some nice looking cedar. I have six one by six by eight foot, and I'm going to put those on the floor of the humidor. Um, I have one ten foot, one by ten for shelves on the east end. And then I have this smaller one here that I can use for an edging on the shelf. So finally going to get them more done. And once I get this done, it's just a matter of putting a door in and a um, humidification system. So I have everything I need. I need my six milliliter plastic, which is right here. And what I will do is I will put the six milliliter moisture or vapor barrier on the floor. And then I will cut these two lengths and screw them in every one foot with finished Torx head screws and then on the next board I'll alternate at six inches and go one foot from there so that way it'll be even and neat and I did leave this lip here so that I can slide the board underneath and that will make a really nice cedar cedar flooring for this humidor so when I get part of this done I will be in touch and I will um, make some more video so I'll be back with this later Okay, I use the six milliliter plastic as a vapor barrier, and I have just a standard regular staple gun and the little J21 staples. I folded it over on the edge, and everything has been stapled down, and that will create a vapor barrier between the humidity of the humidor and the flooring down below. So, what I need to do now is start cutting boards to length and getting those put in starting on that end and then I will work my way out towards the doorway. So I'll get a few of those in and then I'll add more to this later. Okay, hopefully you can see this. I drilled holes every one foot and one inch from each side, the whole length, centered it and started in on both ends at five eighths of an inch. So everything should work out perfect. I bought these, our little Torx head Finish screws is what they are. The light here is not very good. Move that over there. Some finished Torx head screws. So I'm going to use those. But first, I have a little block of wood and we have to get this pounded in until it's flush. It goes tight because I'm not sure it was. But always use a block of wood because you don't want to pound on that because you can ding it up. to do is screw in our torch heads. And I put them just a little bit below flush so that they don't stick up, but I don't want a big hole. And the reason I'm using this rather than flooring is because this is raw cedar. I, I want the cedar aroma. And I need the cedar in here for tobacco beetle stuff because it has a natural deterrent to tobacco beetles and, and a number of things. And the aroma is wonderful. Now on the next board, I won't put one foot on these. I'll come in the middle. It'll be six inches and then it'll be a foot and a foot and then alternate though it has an alternating pattern. But I want it to look nice. It takes a little extra time to measure out each and every place that you drill a hole. But it's worth it in the end, like anything else that you do if you take your time and you're patient. It works out better. Rushing something does absolutely no good at all. So, this is a one by six, which is five and a half inches. A few more to do on the end, but as you can see, I get this thing to focus. They are flush, fit nice on the edge. 
and that is the beginning of my flooring. So I will put a few more boards in here and I will add more to this and then we'll keep moving forward. Okay, this is the problem with not using actual flooring. Even though those look straight, this front board is warped. So I got it in nice and tight and screwed that in. And then once it started to be too far away, I think it's not focusing. There we go. And I have a little gap in there. So I measured the gap and then I measured the distance between here and the wall added them together and added an eighth of an inch and cut me a board. So if this goes right, I should be able to get this that in take that board out and I'll probably have to do that on all of them but when you're not using actual flooring this tongue groove then you have a little bit of warp so it's just gonna take a little more time but I'll check back in later okay I'm slowly gleaning on the floor I have four of my one by sixes in and this one here is going to be tricky because this distance between this line and the edge of the wall is less than the width of the board so short piece of one by six I put in there and I drew a line on the outside of it, the whole length from one end to the other. Once I got that done all the way across then I'm able to lay a board in here square off of this edge over here out and measure the distance between here and here and then the distance between here and here mark that on my board here and here and then also the distance on that end from there to there same thing on that end from there to there and then I marked those and cut these out with a jigsaw so now the tricky thing is hoping that this actually goes in there the way it's supposed to and still has room for the one in the middle because this has to go in first because of these little edges down here so I'm hoping this fits. We'll turn this camera around. Try to get a picture of how this is going to work. It's just not going to work. I don't think I can get far enough away. I'm going to go up on the shelf. Can't get to quite the right angle. I may have to go ahead and do this and see if I can get this. I'll see if I can get this board pounded into this notch. And once I get it in there, that's the other board that will go there. And I'll see if I can get this together. And then I will turn this thing on and add more to it. Okay, I got my flooring done. I think it turned out really, really nice. It's done in cedar, one by sixes. And pieces here on the end. Only thing I have to do now is get one of those edging pieces that goes between the carpet and the facing edge and then get a door so I can see into the humidor and get my humidification system and put shelves up on this side. So I think it's looking pretty good. Flooring looks good. It's coming along nicely.